Hey stars, hope you're all okay. Thanks for tuning in to Seferin. I'm Natalie and I'll be reading the tarot preview spread today. So in today's tarot preview spread, we'll be looking at the ninth book in the Cassie Palmer series, Brave the Tempest, uh, coming out from Karen Chance. Uh, this, as I said, ninth book in the Cassie Palmer series. So if you haven't caught up on Cassie Palmer, you've not got many books to go. Uh, start with Touch the Back. Uh, this is a beautiful series about time travelling, vampires, romance, magic, fey, gods, demons, you name it, it's got it. It's a wonderful book. Um, I'm so over the moon with excitement to get Brave the Tempest. Um, so let's go straight into the tarot spread. Uh, for the tarot preview spread, we have Plot, star of the show or the favourite character, uh, the conflict, resolution and what the kind of reception for the audience is going to be. So for the plot, we have Six of Pentacles and this really means that Cassie, the main character, uh, is going to be sharing her power around, she's really going to be looking after others, like they're going to come to her and ask for help and you know she's going to you know bend over backwards to try and help everyone kind of give out her power, share her magic, uh, do all that she can to do all the little things. Um, you know, and that's going to be tiring for her, it, you know, she, she's going to kind of really need help because she's kind of giving more than what she has, which she normally does. Uh, so that's really going to be the big plot of Brave the Tempest, because um, she's got so many new allies now that she is going to be asked from all different directions for things to do. The favourite character in the series, or the Brave the Tempest book, is Page of Cups. Uh, to me this is Cassie. Page of Cups is the kind of potential card. It's someone who is emotional, um, and if you check out my other video, The Pythia Spread, which is based on the Cassie Palmer series, you'll know that I find Cassie is a very human character. Um, you know, she's a human in the world of vampires and mages and all that. She's a clairvoyant and time traveller, but still very human. And she is emotional, and she has emotional outbursts, and, you know, it's fun to read. Um, for the conflict... It's the Knight of Coins. Uh, this means the kind of main conflict is that someone has to deliver something. You see that he's carrying the pentacle somewhere. Um, it's really going to be about trying to get a certain magical item to a certain place and trying to get through all of that. Uh, so that's going to be what Brave the Tempest is about, is trying to deliver something. And the resolution is Four of Coins. So this is when you, not greed per se, but kind of like keep everything back to yourself. I think whereas earlier the plot was driven by Cassie giving out all of her power, she's finally going to realise no, she needs to be in this for herself, she needs to kind of keep it for herself and you'll see that he's wearing a bit of a crown, you know, she's going to kind of understand her position and, you know, rise up a little bit more than she has been. Um, she's always been quite timid, you know, she's been growing over the course of the books, but I think this is the one where she's really going to come out of her shell, uh, realise that no, she can she can say no, that she can really be the one that says who gets what and keep that magic for herself. She's not going to listen to others anymore. And that's going to be the resolution of Brave the Tempest. Uh, for the critique of the book and how the audience are going to take it, it's a very exciting card, which is Four of Wands. The Four of Wands is the kind of wedding card. So, you know, the closest relations, the closest fans of the Cassie Palmer series are going to be just so happy for this book, um, as you are for people who are getting married. Uh, but like marriages, there's going to be lots of guests, even like the extended family. So I think this is a good showing that there's going to be new people that kind of notice this book and then start getting into the series. And, you know, you know, they won't all want to commit straight away um, but there'll be people that think about this book for a while and it really will generate a lot more interest um, and you see like in the background I'm like really noticing the buildings in this card which I don't normally I think this is really going to be a world builder uh, book I think this is really gonna kind of start making settlements and kind of making clubs around it so that's it for the tarot preview spread um, if you haven't read the Cassie Palmer series, I really urge you to do so. Karen's style of writing is so much fun. 
while it is best to start from the very beginning, uh, you can just pick up any of her books and within the first two paragraphs she's done an overview of the story up to now. Uh, what I love absolute most of these books, including the Cassie Palmer and the other sister series, Darina Basarab, which is in the same world, is it could have been two years since you read the last book, you open the page and you are right there back into the minds of the characters. It's, they have such a strong voice, that's what I love most about them. You feel like you are part of it. Uh, so I hope you're as excited as I am. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, if you want to see the Pythia spread that I created based on the Cassie Palmer series, please check out my other video. Uh, thanks guys, bye!